So let's go and check this out here. Now, for those of you that are here for the first time, I like to teach a very, very fundamental basic strategy that everybody should follow. And this doesn't work not you know, only for math, but it works for really any problem you're trying to solve in life. So everyone, what do I always say? What's the first thing you want to really do in any word problem? Cool. So a lot of us are saying RTQ and what that stands for my party people is, again, read the question. The first thing you always want to do is read the question for the simple reason being you don't want to give yourself the anxiety of wondering what information means. Instead, you can say, hey, what am I looking for? What's the goal? Why am I even reading these words that I'm seeing on the screen? So first things first, read the question. And I see it here. It says, how wide is the football field? So, in that red highlight, everybody, how wide is the football field? Can we go ahead and confidently say that there's a keyword in here that we might want to kind of just zoom in on? And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So, if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. In that red highlight, how wide is the football field? Is there a certain, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the word wide. The word wide is what we wanna really focus our attention on. How wide is the football field? Now, why is that? It's all good. So wh why did the word wide? Thank you, Evan. Yeah, when we talk about how wide something is, we're talking about its width. Now, this doesn't mean that it's always gonna refer to a shape, but everybody in this particular problem, when you look through the question quickly, the entire problem is a shape mentioned. That's right, Remy. Yeah, a rectangle. A rectangle is mentioned. So. For those of you that were confused from the very get-go, don't worry about anything from what happened while you were trying. Let's focus on this procedure here. We read the question first and we said, hey, how wide is the football field? Okay, if you're saying how wide, I mean, is there a, is there a shape that we're dealing with? And yes, it's given right here. Rectangular football field right there. So in my head, you can do this on paper or in your head, but I'm gonna give myself some sort of illustration to work off of, just to kind of put the pieces together, whatever the pieces might be. I see that we have a rectangular football field and I'm trying to find out, hey, how wide is this football field? So that width right there. And everybody, just a quick question. Um, when it comes to rectangles, just in case we need to use this information, if the bottom there is called the width, what else would be the width? What else? Just out of curiosity, see if you know. Right, the top. Remember, with rectangles, the opposite sides are the same. So if the bottom is the width, the top is the width as well. And again, I'm just going to keep exploring this, these basic fundamental facts about rectangles. I want to see how much we know and how much we can actually apply here. But with that said, there's a little bit of a hidden piece of information here that I know some of us struggled with comprehending that I'm going to show you what to do with. So first step in every question is again, what do you want? Read the question. We already did that. We have a rectangle. We're looking for the width, whatever. Second step is to go through the information and write down what each piece means. Now this could be difficult or easy depending on what problem you're doing. But when it comes to geometry, there are specific keywords and specific ways that things are mentioned that are going to give it away. Here's what I mean. Everyone right over here, it says, hey, the distance around the rectangular football field is 230 yards. My question to y'all is this, what is that code for? The distance around, what is that code for? I see a couple of people already chiming in saying perimeter, perimeter, distance around equals perimeter, 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 yes. When we're talking about the distance around a shape, let me go ahead and illustrate it for you. When you're talking about the distance around a shape, that's perimeter. That's absolutely perimeter. So with that said, yes or no, do you agree so far that that 230 that we're given right here, that is the perimeter. Do you agree or disagree with that? Welcome in Delilah. 
Cool. Good, good, good. So, exactly. That's right, Krishan, because it is the distance around. They give you the perimeter. So, let me just remind you here. We want the width. We want the width. We have the perimeter. My final question is, what's the connection, everybody? Is there a connection, some formula, some math idea that connects the width of a rectangle and the perimeter of a rectangle? Is there a connection here? Indy, perfectly stated there. Now, Imani, there will be addition involved in the actual formula, but the formula itself, the connection, what brings together what you're looking for and the information you have is the equation for the perimeter of a rectangle. So everybody, going to write this down. Hey, right on, Olivia, and welcome into more classes. So here, let me write this down for you. The perimeter of a rectangle is two times the length plus two times the width. And just to make sure you understand where that even comes from, pay attention. Remember, everybody, the perimeter is the distance around a shape. If we're talking about a rectangle, Look no further, right here, check this out. We have one width, two widths. So we have two of those widths, that's where the two on the W comes from. And when we talk about how many lengths there are, there are two. Because right over here, this would be your length, and that means that this would also be your length. So that means we have, again, two lengths and two widths, and that's why you have two times the length plus two times the width. Does that make a little more sense to anybody here in terms of why the formula is the way it is? Yeah, this is the first question, so welcome in no worries. All right, cool, great. Great, great, great. Again, it's not only important to memorize formulas, but if there's a way to understand like how that formula truly works, chances are you're never gonna forget it, never. So always do your best to understand formulas and the pieces inside of them. That way you're not really debating with yourself, wondering if it's length times width, or 2L plus 2W. L times W, that's the area, not the perimeter. So we have to know these things and the reasons why, that way we can make confident decisions. So with that, what do we do here? Well, the fact of the matter is this, everybody. We made the connection. We're looking for the width and we're given the perimeter. The formula connects the two of them right there. All we need to know is if we have the length. And guess what we do? It's right here. The length is already given to us. It says it right here. The football field is 70 yards long. So that's the length. So all we need to do now is plug in our information and we can solve. Here's how we'll do it. Follow along here. I'm gonna go ahead, replace the perimeter with what everybody? What was the perimeter given to us? Maria, thank you, that is correct. 230, the perimeter is 230. So I'll plug that in for the perimeter. That's all I'm doing. Again, they told us the perimeter was 30, 230. The distance around, 230, so we'll plug that in. Number two, what did they tell us the length was? They tell us the length was 70, so I'll plug that in accordingly. So here we go. Let's make sure to, let me just change colors here real quick, actually. Just use regular black for that. And then over here, we'll have ourselves two times the length, which is gonna be 70. And then we have two times the width, which we, again, we don't know what it is yet. Our job is to figure out what the width is. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Before I get to solving, everybody, do you agree or disagree, or are you good or not good on where we've landed so far? Do you understand how we got here in terms of knowing that we have a formula for perimeter, and we plugged in the perimeter, and we plugged in the length? Are we good there so far before I actually start calculating? Good. Good, good, good. So, here's the thing. 
if the calculations that I'm about to do are any type of confusing, don't worry. Because if you understood how we got to this point, you're already in a good position. Because there's two parts to word problems always. Number one, it's the setup. It's, hey, how can we turn all that English into math that we can solve? That's step one. And number two, step two is actually doing the math, solving the equation or getting through with the solution process. So that's where, what we're about to transition to. But if you understand how we got to this point, that's 50% of the work right there. Now let's get to the back half of the work. Let's just go ahead and solve. And again, no shame if you're confused by anything we're about to do. It just means that we need to go ahead and focus on solutions a little more in the future. So here we go. First things first, everybody, let's clean some things up. I'm going to take a look right over here at this 2 times 70. What's 2 times 70 going to be? Yep, nice and easy. It's going to be 140. So with that said, we have 230 equals, and this is going to be 140 plus 2w. Now, again, the goal of the problem is to get this guy right here by himself, that w. That's been the goal the whole time. So I know that I have a 2w with it, and I also have that 140 being added. So the first thing I'm gonna take care of is the thing that's furthest away. Let's get rid of that 140. Now, if 140 is just sitting there, we're gonna magically wanna take it away. But can anybody tell me in a clear, concise phrase or a sentence, can you, can you lay it out clearly, what it is that we're supposed to do to solve this equation, what the first step is gonna be? And that's how you know you've been to my classes because you know I would have ripped into you if you would have gotten lazy with it. So what you need to do here is not just subtract 140. We need to say subtract 140 from both sides. If there's one thing you need to learn about solving equations, it's this. You're going to be applying the same thing to both sides and you're working backwards. So again, work backwards and do the same things to both sides. If you follow those rules, solving equations will get easier over time as you practice. So watch this. We'll go ahead and subtract 140 from both sides. And once that happens, yes, that'll cancel out on the right side. And then we'll have 230 minus 140, which ends up being what? That's right, my party people, that'll be 90. Thank you. So we have 90 equals 2w. And I can move that right up over here. That way I have a little more room to work with. And so what we'll do is divide both sides by what now? And the reason I said divide is because it's the opposite of multiplying. Because we have 2w, which means 2 times w, to get rid of a 2 that's being multiplied, you'll divide it from both sides. So that's what's going to happen here, right there, and there again. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Keep the balance of the equation. That's gone. And now we just have to kind of figure out in our heads, what's 90 divided by 2? 45. That's right. So w equals 45 and we are golden because the goal of the problem the entire time was to find the width of this football field and there it is booyah we have our answer and it's b and so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit and to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence that's what my asvab all access program is for the link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.